what's up everybody this is Travis from Candid at the movies and today I will be reviewing a film that is in some theaters but I watched it on Redbox it is the angry black girl and her monster now this movie is brand new and it's a nice take on the story of Frankenstein and it stars Layla Hayes Denzel Whitaker and Chad Coleman and it is basically about Leia Hayes' character, Vicaria, who is a very super smart young teenager, but she finds out, sadly, that her brother has been killed, and she is basically trying to deal with the cope of his loss, how it affects her family, and more than anything, trying to bring him back. Now, everyone that knows her in the little projects area that she lives in knows that she's super smart but everyone calls her names and little things just to basically belittle her and make her feel like she's a horrible person to be smart but as we stated she gets the sad griefful and crazy idea to bring her brother back to life and then you see how her actions of doing this affects her her family and the projects. I can honestly say I really love this film because it was a nice take on the Frankenstein story. I really liked how they showed how she's smart, how she's able to be the type of person to figure something out on her own and make it work for her. But it honestly really shows a lot of the stages of grief. You're going to see her not accepting it. You're going to see family members trying to move on and go past it. You're seeing everybody just in that community, let alone affected by it, and how it really makes everybody feel a, an odd way about how things went down with her brother's passing. And bringing in the elements of a Frankenstein monster set into a 2023 model really worked. I really think this film is something good. You even see the aspects of her character basically losing her mind and feeling like, this is either the best or worst thing that's ever happened to her. I really think more than anything that this film is going to stick with some people. It's going to be available on Shudder, I think, sometime in July. But if you do have the options to rent this movie, I highly recommend it. It's really good. The character acting is really good. I, the, even the design of the monster is so simple, yet it's very telling. It's really cool. I really like how it was thrown together. I highly recommend this film, and I'm going to give this film, more than anything, a B plus. I want to give it an A because I want to rewatch it again, but I feel like they went a very, very good way of doing this film. Cinematography looks good. The grungy feel of, feel of the film is really good, and anybody that likes creature feature films, you'll definitely appreciate this one. But by all means, let me know what y'all thought about this film. If you're going to check it out, or if you have checked it out, comment below. Let me know what you think about it. But hey, this is Travis. This is Candid at the Movies. We appreciate y'all. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. It helps us grow. Peace, y'all.